So in this video we're going to talk about how to properly erase an iPad and this will apply also to iPhones and iPod touches so that if you're selling it off or handing it off to another person they won't run into the common Apple ID issue which is usually because before you erase your device you're supposed to sign it out of your Apple ID so that it turns off the Find My iPhone iPad location services and everything else with it which is kind of a security based thing that Apple has for their devices because if you don't do that and you just erase your device the next person that gets it will get stuck at the intro screen when they try to set their new device up that you gave to them and not be able to proceed any further because it's requesting login credentials and stuff that you originally had for your Apple account so what we're going to do is we're going to use this second generation iPad Air 128 gig Wi-Fi here that's got a bad battery so I want to get it erased and off my Apple ID system there and you'll be able to sell it and be gone with it so what we're gonna do is power it up and the battery is already dying pretty quick even though I got it plugged into a charger here so we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna make sure we tap on our user section at the very top of the settings here so I see I got my name selected there and everything and everything on the side here that I've got it tied into and my devices and we're going to go down and click sign out right at the bottom here so we're going to click sign out and I'm afraid that there's a bit of a glare Let me turn the light off so I'll get rid of the glare that way it's going to ask me for my Apple ID password so I'm going to go ahead and put my turn off And now it's asking me if I want to keep a copy of the data on this iPad. I do not. So we're going to click sign out. It's going to ask me again if I'm sure. And I'm going to lose all my iCloud data. Sign out. And now it's going to remove all the iCloud data and take this iPad Air 2 off of my Apple account. So I take care of that. And you see that it's now not showing me signed into the iPad anymore, so the iPad is no longer tied to my Apple account. So now it is okay to go ahead and erase it. So my Apple ID is not tied to it anymore, so the next person that gets this won't have any issue with setting the iPad up. So we're just going to go to Transfer or Reset iPad, Erase All Content in Settings. And of course, it's going to give me another confirmation. Say continue. And it's going to ask me a passcode because the security passcode, of course, this will be erased later. And erase all the content. Erase iPad. And now the iPad will shut down and begin resetting its memory. Here we are at the welcome screen for the iPad. So if we try to set it up, it should not be asking us anything about Apple ID. So I can try signing into my network here. Go through iPad activation. Data privacy, touch ID. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. We'll just set up a temporary passcode. Not gonna do any transfer right now. And then it's gonna ask me for Apple ID. Set up later in settings. Terms and conditions, keep it up to date, not right now, 
set up later set up later don't share continue get started and there we are we're in our iPad no Apple ID confirmation to go through it all so that is how you properly get your iPad or iPhone or iPod touch signed out of your Apple ID account get it erased and then it's ready to go for the next person that's going to receive it